Hello and welcome to the workshop. Another day and yet another life test is in the books. This is an official update on the New Balance 990 V4 after almost a year of wearing. The pros and the cons, the good and the bad. Now, for those of you familiar, you know how these life tests go. We wear a sneaker for X amount of time. We aren't careful in them. We also aren't out there just trying to mess them up. We're just living our regular life. And then we update you all with the final verdict. Sometimes it's a couple weeks. Sometimes it's a couple years. So with that said, let the update commence. Comfort wise, the 990 is incredible, it really is. Now, a quick little side note is they do fit a little bit big. If you're used to Nike sneakers, they're gonna fit huge. I would say it's a half size up at least. So if you normally wear a 10 and a half, go with a 10 and I think that's gonna be the perfect fit. And like I said, the comfort is incredible. It's not in an ultra boost, super cushy right out of the box kind of way the thing with ultra boost and i love boost trust me but it feels amazing for the first few weeks the first month and then it bottoms out honestly and maybe it's because i'm a bigger dude but i almost instantly feel that happening like an ultra boost sneaker is never as comfortable as it was the first couple days you never regain that level of comfort and all foam based cushioning will eventually bottom out yes with the 990 maybe a little but they they are still very comfortable in fact and I've said this before we actually just made a video about the 990 v5 go check that out if you have not already we will put a link in the description but I think the 990 is actually the most comfortable sneaker for all day comfort I know people are not gonna like that boost heads Nike heads it doesn't have the wow factor that Boost does. It doesn't have the bounciness that a Vapor Max or Air Max 270 does, but for all day comfort, it's the one. And even almost a year after I started wearing this pair, they are still the one. These are the Neo of the sneaker game. Now, just as far as overall durability goes, they are awesome as well. We've talked about different materials on different sneakers when it comes to these life test videos. Typically, suede is not a very durable material, and it isn't. If you're talking about the looks side of things, you get suede wet, and it goes from looking like a lavish mink velour rug to rat fur. You go from very, very fancy to ratatouille very quickly. So I guess that has to be a negative for these because they have suede all over them. So that is a con. I mean, you can see them. I have beat these up thoroughly. I've walked in them. I've chilled in them. I've ran in them. I've worked out in them. I have done just about everything you can do in a sneaker in this sneaker. And when you factor in that premium suede and this classic gray colorway, they're gonna look trashed pretty quickly. If this is your everyday sneaker, they are going to to get banged up mighty quick. Now, I also got to include this though. Even when they look all beat, the craftsmanship is so good. It really is. Made in the USA, handcrafted. These things hold up. These are some durable ass sneakers and that's hard to find these days. No loose stitching, nothing coming apart, no lace tips chipping off. They're incredible quality and incredibly well made. It's one of the few sneakers that, at least for me, I really feel like it's worth the retail price. It just feels like quality because it is so i don't mind paying 175 dollars for them another thing we like to discuss when it comes to an update is the value of the sneaker as i'm sure you know some sneakers resell for 10 times the retail price i mean i bought buckets a pair of union jordan ones for christmas was that christmas or your birthday christmas christmas and They've like tripled in value since. The 990 obviously doesn't have resale value, which is dope. Anyone can find a pair if you want them. And I know the retail price is not cheap, but they aren't exclusive. They aren't elusive. They're just super consistent. I feel like if sneakers were basketball players, these would be the Tim Duncan. An all-time great, not flashy, just unbelievably consistent. That's what the 990 is. I 
I feel like I could keep talking about this sneaker. It's one of my all-time favorites, but that's the update. Very, very comfortable, even after tons and tons of wear. Very durable as far as practicality goes. Not so much looks-wise. That's the only con, and I tried hard to think of other negative aspects, and there just aren't any. Not with this shoe. So those are my thoughts on these after almost a year of wearing. Leave a comment below and let us know how you feel about the 990. How do you feel about New Balance in general? What do you think is the most most comfortable sneaker for all day comfort long term however you're feeling leave a comment below and let us know always love to hear from you i don't have a chance or the opportunity to go through and respond to every single comment but we definitely read them all and will respond to as many as we can so thank you very much for your continued support for rocking with us the way that you do you are very very appreciated we will be back tomorrow manana same time same place right here at the workshop with a brand new sneaker until then Adios.